Hi, Sandra Crathen, Inner Vision, Life Coach specialising in health and wellbeing. And I am running a series on Instagram and YouTube all about a tool that I've created called a health fountain tool, which I am so excited about. And this tool helps you look at your life in such a different perspective about balance and if there's areas that you need to work on. I mean, it really does come to life, this tool. So every two, three weeks, once a month, something like that, I'm exploring different elements of this tool. In fact, I love this tool so much, I have written a book called Know the Truth. Actually, I'm going to show you it. Um, which I ought to have had prepared earlier, but I do like a bit of spontaneity. So this is the book. It's called Know the Truth. And this actual tool is in the book. So without any to do, if you can go back onto my YouTube or Instagram, you'll see week one, which was all about communicating with yourself. Uh, week two was all about communicating with others or communication week one and two. And week three, we're talking about purpose today. So do you know your purpose? And even if you've got a great job and you're really happy in your life and you eat really well and you look after yourself well, if you don't have a purpose, something to wake up for every day, then that will affect your health and well-being. And as this whole tool, as I've shared, is about balance, then it's really good to explore your purpose. Now, I remember years ago, I said to my husband, when I started working as a life coach, so what's your purpose, Gary? Do you know it on a score of 0 to 10? So you get a piece of paper and you write purpose down and you put score of 0 to 10. 10 is, yeah, I know 100% and 0 is, actually, I don't really know what my purpose is. And my husband said 10. So, and I was quite curious about what he thought his purpose was. I don't think he was driven as I have been in my work. You know, I've been a nurse most of my life and only the last 15 years I've been a life coach. So I was really curious and he said to me, my purpose is to look after you. And he said it so like from the heart, he really felt that that's what he was here for. Now your purpose may change at different times. You know, at one, per at one time I think my purpose seemed to be mainly being a mother. I mean, I don't suppose that purpose ever goes. But when my children were little, and of course when I started my nurse training, I think my purpose for many years was being a nurse. And then obviously I got married and my purpose was, um, you know, more being a wife and a mother. And of course being a nurse as well, so my purpose slightly changed or it increased or you know in different times in our lives I think our purpose could change but if you have a feeling of purpose when you wake up in the morning I guarantee you that will help your mental health your physical health your emotional health so how do you find that out well I do believe that I know 10 out of 10 what my purpose is in fact I think it's called a calling for me and I believe that I was put on the planet to help people improve their health by being uh, first uh, a nurse and now a life coach specialising in health. Because I've had such fantastic changes in my own life with my own health and well-being as a result of being a health coach that I really feel I have a message to pass on to other people. So get yourself a little bit of paper. I'll wait for you or you can... You can mute me and, no, not mute me. What's the word? Pause me. <laughs> you can pause me and then get yourself a bit of paper and maybe spend a minute or two just closing your eyes and taking a nice deep breath and checking in with yourself and asking yourself, okay, what is my purpose? What is What am I here for? And maybe just fl free flow things that come up for you. you know, generally our purpose is something that we love doing you know, or something we enjoy doing. You know, I think it's unlikely that some will wake up and have a purpose that they really loathe or hate. It's something they're drawn to, it's something that they generally enjoy and take pleasure out of. So give yourself a score of 0 to 10, and that may be 2, 3, 5, you know. For me, I, was, uh, I feel quite blessed because my husband said to me, well, how do you know it's your purpose? And that's a great question, isn't it? How do you know? And the answer is, I don't know. 
but that's what I believe to be my truth. I, I have a real feeling in my gut and in my core that my purpose is to help people with their health and well-being. So if you don't know, and I've worked with clients to say I've got no idea at all, maybe start to write down, spend some time writing down what you imagine your purpose might be and it might be work related it might be to do with your family or anything really that you feel that you're spending most of your time doing at the moment and then also ask yourself do you feel fulfilled with what your purpose is today and if you don't you know I've worked with many clients that feel they don't really know what their purpose is and they find out they're in a job that they don't really enjoy or the career that they don't do and when they improve that and start to do something that they would like to do more, then that improves their whole sense of purpose. Often lots of people will say, well, I really feel my purpose is to help others. And it may be beautiful and simple as that, which I guess mine is really to a degree. I think we're all here, aren't we, to help each other. So maybe start to explore. And then while you're doing what you go about doing daily, maybe if you go when you're going for a walk or um, just spending time quietly, not in your mind and doing activities and just ask yourself more and more okay would it be a value to me to really know what my purpose is and maybe as I said write down specific things that you think might be your purpose or that you'd like to be your purpose you know how would it be to imagine doing something that you could wake up to and love you know again I've worked with clients that have said to me Oh, I think it's my real purpose to be an artist, but I'm working, you know, in the tax office or something. So maybe you can bring that purpose into your life. You know, OK, you work in the tax office maybe all the time, but you'd like to be an artist. So maybe in your spare time you can, you know, look into how you can be a better artist or practice more or give yourself some time. I worked with a doctor once who said that part of her purpose was to play the piano, but she never made time to do it. So we did some work together and then eventually, she was only doing, I think, half an hour a day, but she really felt so much more fulfilled. Her purpose, she felt really also, was to be a doctor and to help others. But when she was doing playing her piano, she just felt more whole. So that would be my suggestion. So the next time that we come together, I will be looking at sense of spirit and how to really work and find your sense of spirit and look into that which I look forward to so yes if you don't feel that you've got a purpose maybe it's time to explore finding a purpose because it's quite magical when we do wake up every day and know that we've got something to aim to do you know I'll end on this I hear a lot of people that um, suffer from depression particularly at this period when I'm making this video, this the COVID period is at its heightened almost. And a lot of people suffering from huge amount of depression. There's a lot of research to say that if you feel very, very depressed, very often you don't feel like you've got a purpose. You don't feel like you've got anything to wake up for. And when we have something to wake up for, there's so much more satisfaction in our day you know, even if it's just a small thing, you know, to wake up to, if you know you've got that driver to help you. So I really wish you well in finding your purpose and we will explore more of the Hell Fountain the next time I see you.